players, did y'all hear about this lawsuit against Airbnb? Baby, <laughs> this Airbnb owner has allegedly gotten pissed to the highest level of festivity at their previous guests that refused to pay additional fees associated with their stay. So according to the lawsuit, they sent a picture of the guest with another woman to his wife. Baby, y'all grab your tea and have a seat. Let's get into this. Now, this situation occurred back in September of 2022 when Sean Mackey from Mississippi rented a little bit more country Airbnb in Memphis. Now, at the time of the rental, the description read that it could accommodate up to 12 guests with three bedrooms and two baths. So when Sean uh, made the arrangements, he said that he would be having over some guests to have dinner. However, they would not be spending the night. At first, when the arrangements were made, everything was all good with the owner. They stated that they would love to accommodate them and they will be seeing them soon. However, whenever he reached out to the Airbnb on the day of his stay to say that he needed a late check-in and provided the names of the additional guests, the Airbnb owner pulled the plug and said, it's a no-go. We won't be able to accommodate this many people. In a confirmation email, the Airbnb owner supplied a list of additional rules. These are rules that you don't see when you rent the actual Airbnb. It says no smoking or vaping, no excessive noise, no guests from the local area, no parking in front of the garage or on the right side of the driveway, no glass, food, drinks, or urinating in the pool, and no skinny dipping. There will be a $500 fine if the police are called, and if you have any additional guests on the property, there will be a $250 fine, and your stay could be canceled at my discretion. So after the Airbnb owner said, we can't accommodate all of these additional guests, I'm guessing Sean did not reply, so the Airbnb owner came back 45 minutes later and said, hey, I've received some noise complaints. You and your people got to go immediately. I mean, they claimed that it was yelling and cursing going on in the parking lot. Now, Sean said that he did not do these things, and he actually reached out to the Airbnb owner directly, and they were able to work something out so that he could stay because he didn't have anywhere else to go. Now, nothing else happened. They received the checkout rules from the owner, but Sean was still pissed to the highest level of festivity, so he scurried on over to the Airbnb website and wrote a complaint and requested a refund for $502.46. Now, that refund was denied by Airbnb. Airbnb. And on September 14th, a representative from Airbnb reached out to him and stated that they were launching an inquiry into his claims. And if they find out that he was lying, maybe they was going to terminate his account. Now, Sean said he wasn't worried about it because he knows that he did absolutely nothing wrong. And he also knows that cameras were in use on the property because it was in the rules. So he was just waiting for the investigation to play out. But on September 17th, he said he received a text message from directly from the owner who said, baby, I'm sorry it took so long to get these photos and videos that you requested. However, uh, I have them now and I want to send you this one of you at 3.16 a.m. Uh, it looks like you with another woman. And should I go ahead and forward these videos and photos to your wife, Teresa? Baby, the Airbnb owner done did some research and found out his wife's name it, and she wasn't even there. Child, I declare. Now, of course, Sean was pissed to the highest level of festivity with this message from the Airbnb owner, but he said, I'm just going to wait for the investigation to play out. But, baby, he received a bill from Airbnb on September 20th, totally $960, saying that he violated the no local guest policy, and also there was excessive noise. And Airbnb fined him $300 by itself just for having to look into the claim. And baby, it did stop there for Sean Mackey, honey. In this lawsuit, he alleges that the Airbnb owner sent this picture to his wife at her place of employment. The subject line read, nice bag, and uh, embedded in the email was that photo, and it said, I love your bag, where'd you get it? Of course, Sean Mackey, he was upset to the highest level of upsetness, so he contacted Airbnb to voice his disgust and disdain, and he says that Airbnb did absolutely nothing in this situation. They only added a note on his account about this overly sensitive situation.
So now Sean has filed a lawsuit against the Airbnb owner and Airbnb itself because Airbnb failed to do anything and he decrees and declares that this owner overstepped their bounds and also tried to extort him for all of those fees. Now, the Airbnb owner is saying that they had absolutely nothing to do with this situation. They did reach out to them for comment, but the Airbnb owner only replied, hey, I would love to speak with you. However, my attorney advised me not to do so. Child, this is re damn ridiculous and a hot boo-boo shitty mess, but players, I want to know what you all think about this. Put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mo for the Black Hit News.